Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you how to make these crispy and delicious onion rings. Begin by cutting two yellow onions into slices. Make sure to remove the thin outer layer of the onion. Once you finish slicing your onion, pop them out into individual rings. Then place your onions in a bowl of ice water. Soaking your onions in cold water will dilute the sulfur content, giving them a mild and sweeter taste. Next, we're going to make our batter. In a measuring cup or small bowl, add one and a half cups of milk and one egg. Mix the egg and milk together until well combined. When you're finished, set it to the side. Next, in a large bowl, add one cup of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one tablespoon of smoked paprika, two teaspoons of garlic powder, one fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one teaspoon of seasoning salt, and half a teaspoon of pepper. Then mix everything together until well combined. After you've mixed everything together, add your milk mixture from before. Then mix everything together until well combined. When you finish making your batter, set it to the side. Once you finish making your batter, remove your onions from the cold water and pat them dry. Next, set up your coating station. Add about a cup of flour in one bowl and a cup of panko crumbs in another bowl. Then, begin coating your onion rings. First, coat your onion in flour. Then, in your batter, and finally in your panko breadcrumbs. Then repeat this process until you've coated all of your onion rings. When you're finished, you can begin frying them. In a pot or deep fryer, heat vegetable oil up to around 350 degrees. And then fry your onion rings for about 2-3 to three minutes or until golden. Make sure to cook your onion rings in batches of 4 or 5. You don't want to overcrowd your pot or deep fryer. Flip your onion rings every now and then for an even color. When your onion rings have finished cooking, take them out and place them on a wire rack. Once you finish frying your onion rings, season them with salt.
Next, we're going to make the onion ring sauce. In a bowl, add a half a cup of mayonnaise, two teaspoons of prepared horseradish, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, one teaspoon of lemon juice, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, two teaspoons of ketchup, one fourth teaspoon of sugar, one fourth teaspoon of salt, and one fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Mix everything together until well combined. Now you can go ahead and plate everything up. And this is the finished result! These onion rings were so freaking good! I don't even particularly like onion rings all that much, but these, these were good, especially with the sauce. The sauce was really, really delicious. It went with the onion rings so well! The onion rings were nice and crispy and well seasoned. Also, soaking the onions in cold water totally works because the onions were surprisingly sweet and it didn't have that bitter taste. This was really easy and fun to make, so I totally recommend. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!